is just fantastic. Hello everyone, welcome back to another low effort video. It would be a this week at Twitter, but something interesting popped up on, well, Twitter oddly enough, and I thought, you know what, this affords us an opportunity to ensure that a message I have said multiple times in the past can be said again for current year. Creators might rub people up the wrong way. For whatever reason, creators say things that can be considered controversial. They say things that might be out of the ordinary. You may like them. You may loathe them. You may have a neutral feeling towards them. Some are amusing enough that you will follow them until their dying day. A pilgrimage, like Dragon Lord. Others, you keep a tab on. You just watch because others document their existence, like Chris Chan, although they get trolled to high heaven to this day as well. There are some people just hate watch. At no point in any of that is it okay for anyone under any circumstance to go and find that creator, regardless of your intent, to hassle, harangue, and A-B-U-S-E them, to harm them, harm their property perhaps, or those that they live with. You shouldn't do that. Much like doxing, this is unacceptable behavior. If you do this, or you ever desire doing it, you need to seek help before you cross that line. That's where we're going today, by the way. We're going to insert Boogie2988. Boogie posted a video 15 hours ago, titled Ran Away From Home, Brackets For Good. It was a video of him at Bucky's. Now, I thought Bucky's was in Texas, which I don't believe is the state that Boogie lives in. And I say this because I was sent a picture once by an old friend of Bucky's because they are from Texas. I framed it because I thought it was hilarious. A truck stop that's essentially a mall. What's not to love? Trucks and stuff. In this Boogie video, they're eating sandwiches. Yes, I watched it. Boogie's channel isn't doing so well, but Boogie is still very active on YouTube, whether it be on the Boogie 2988 channel, whether it be streaming on Twitch, or whether it be on the Lolcow Live podcast. Boogie has undoubtedly rubbed a lot of people up over the years the wrong way. Does that in any way justify anyone going to his home? No. We had this with Frank Hassel, and that led to a rather horrible incident, where a pew-pew was fired into the air, which is, of course, highly dangerous, regardless of the law involved. And Boogie did have to deal with the consequences of that, it is well known. While Boogie is away, his home is, well, not vacant. It is well known he lives with housemates, friends of his that he's had for a long time. Undoubtedly, to keep up with mortgage payments, this makes perfect sense, to be honest. And there's no shame at anyone living with other people. There really isn't. I'm just over a decade younger than Boogie, and I live with people. There's nothing wrong with that. If you, the individual, look down on that, you are a bit elitist, a bit of a snob. Get help. Now, Boogie has been posting quite a lot to Twitter. He had alluded to the fact that perhaps he'll do a video on this very subject, but I'm going to go through some of what has transpired. On the 29th of February, at 4.32am, Boogie posted, Oh my god, the medicine man who I worked with in the documentary came to my house and sprayed thief on my house, as well as a word I am not going to bother saying, holy poop. Boogie then confirmed, I am currently 1,000 miles away, so I can't take photos or post them as soon as I get them from roommates. This is where the judging started. I don't care what your reasoning is. Please don't go to another creator's home, and I will say this multiple times in this video. There is some context concerning the medicine man. Of course there is. And we'll get some of that soon anyway. Apparently, he posted threats on his Facebook wild. Included two images. Stephen Williams, you are so f it's unbelievable and the city of fayetteville chose war that was very unwise dot 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 protecting glenn whitman and stephen jason williams aka boogie 2988 all the tomahawks are out now let's see what happens since everybody wants to play games bunch of emojis lumi 2000 i hope boogie calls the police on this one the man went to his house once and he will do it again which is 100 percent correct Boogie retweeted by saying, yeah, obviously we're pressing charges and getting restraining orders, which is the right thing to do. In the situation presented, options are limited, but one must ensure they are as safe as they can be. Boogie. He left a ton of evidence on his Facebook and even spoke to the cops tonight. As far as I understand, he's not hiding it. He's admitting to it. Something which a number of people had theorized was that there was something clearly wrong, mental health wise, 
with the individual that went to Boogie's home. That's in the form of Ryan Arthur Dill... I'm not even going to pretend to be able to pronounce your last name, sorry. Reply. You know more about this stuff than I do, but you might want to censor his name so you don't get accused of doxing or whatever weird poop people will say. At this point, Boogie could never win an argument, regardless of if he's in the right or not. However, the resounding opinion of the internet is, this is not acceptable, someone went to his house with intent, and they caused damage to private property. That private property is Boogie's. Therefore, he can press as many charges as he likes, and I'll be honest, this guy's been posting to his public Facebook with threats to cause harm to another person. In a public space, using a very public account, he was not yeeted by Facebook for posting this, by the way, when he should have been. I do not believe it falls within the ballpark of doxing, but some will look to it as such. You are incorrect for believing so. Boogie did later tweet out images of the spray painting done on Boogie's property. On the garage doors, you have PDF file and thief. The car also had its windows freshly tinted. Thinky Winks had replied, don't need to force drama when it just comes to you. Hope you are safe, Boogs and company. In this, I don't believe that Boogie is forcing any drama. I believe a level of transparency is vitally important. I also believe that Boogie needs to be able to put this out there because he's made the first tweet public. The first tweet being, oh my god, the medicine man who I worked with spray painted my house and other things. Yes. So in this, I don't believe he's like farming for drama or anything like that, or content. And if he was farming for drama, you would have thought by now he would have made a video sooner. But as he himself, when he retweeted this, pointed out, he is in Ohio. He also acknowledged, it's my personal properties after more than me, which also makes sense. Josh Dino, what happened? What's his beef with you? He tried to steal all my collectible magic cards and we wouldn't let him. I have some collectible magic cards. Yeah, and a few Pokemon ones as well. It's one of those rare things where over the years, the value of those cards really has gone up because they were made better for one, and also they were quite hard to obtain because few of them were printed. I don't have, for example, the one card, the one ring card that is, because that is something completely different, worth millions of dollars as well. But it's always nice to have a little investment. Log Cal Live, Flaming Star is seeking blood. Including the tweet from Boogie and also the damage to Boogie's property. Boogie did actually put a poll out saying, so you guys want me to upload a video explaining the situation with the spray paint and stuff? Yes, we'll watch, no bad idea, and don't care. At time of recording, yes, we'll watch is winning. This would also explain why Boogie hasn't made a video just yet because it has, at time of recording, three hours left. First reply underneath of interest, I don't think you need to post a video when you've been talking about it nonstop on Twitter today, Stephen. Now, I think this is an inaccurate take. You forget here, Boogie, his majority audience, see him on YouTube, not on Twitter. Same with what I do. If I put a poll on Twitter, I know it won't get anywhere near the engagement my community post would get, for example. And that's because I have very different audiences on different platforms, and Boogie is no different. Boogie's also very different in video form compared to that of Twitter and Twitch. Boogie, retweeting Jimbo Jam Jambo, who had said, the guy has clearly been on drugs for many years, be careful Boogie, definitely a screw loose, makes for great content though, every cloud, crying with laughter emoji. Boogie, yeah, fun update, talked to a cop today. When he went to the police yesterday before coming to my house, they could tell he was in crisis and tried to get him the mental health help he was so desperately needed. He refused it and decided to crimes instead, I guess then self-report on Facebook. He's having a real tough episode, scary stuff. Feel bad up to a point, once you hurt me or my family, it's hard to care anymore. And that is vitally important context. This man obviously needs help. If he had caused any actual harm to Boogie, a lot of people would have lost any and all compassion regardless of the context. But you can also say because of the nature of Boogie's existence online, there would have been many that would have celebrated regardless. Ignoring those for the majority that have an aspect of humanity instead, you will find that the internet would not have cared about this man's mental health, but it would have been used as a mitigating factor in the inevitable trial. Buggy had tweeted to Buggy, how do you not have cameras? Retweeted by Buggy, working on it, should be installed soon. It was a matter of cost, as well as just not really seeing the use of it. I figured one crazy person at my front door was probably a lifetime amount, didn't really see it happening again. I let that simply safe subscription lapse due to monthly fees, maybe a bad choice. Speaking from personal experience, in the United Kingdom there's been an increase in sales of ring doorbells. You can run them through the mains and use an app on your phone and you see basically everything at your front door. I know this might not be as common in other countries, other states, that's totally understandable. But I would highly recommend everyone protect their property as best they can and ensure that if anyone does do anything untoward or seek to cause them harm, 
they have the facilities, the supplies, the resources to be able to ensure all relevant evidence can be gathered and obtained through things as simple as a front doorbell camera. I like that this video is also serving as a public service announcement. Earlier I mentioned Boogie having housemates. Ted Kaczynski Burner. You have roommates. Ah, holy shit. Boogie, is it weird to live with your best friend for 30 years? The one who saved your life when you were homeless? Probably the least weird thing about me, I guess. And in this, I couldn't agree more. Not with what Ted has said with Boogie. If you can live with your best friend, not only to offset your bills and make things a bit easier on yourself, do it. There is no shame in living with other people. I have responded to a video either here or on Omegon 2 of somebody who made every excuse for why they would have a two bedroom flat, earn $2,000 a month and spend $1,600 on rent, but refuse to get a roommate because at the age of 22, they should be on their own. But if they lived with someone else, their rent would free up $800. The mentality involved is a level of snobbishness and stupidity. It's also a massive distraction from the core problem. Somebody went to Boogie's home and caused damage to his property while he wasn't there. They wanted to cause him harm as well, while throwing some rather wild defamatory accusations out against Boogie, clearly suffering from a mental health crisis and in need of help, but also committing a crime at the same time. The final tweet I want to read, yo, we finally got cams installed, let's go. Fingers crossed, no more people turn up at Boogie's home, either when he is there or when he's not there, unless they are invited to attend his property. I will say this one last time as it is highly relevant to this discussion. I don't care who you are, I don't care how the public perceive you in the online space. If you are a viewer of a creator, regardless of like or dislike or neutrality, you are not invited to their home just because they're a creator. You are not invited to their home unless they invite you to their property. Many of us don't share our addresses because we don't want the hassle that comes with being online. Too many nihilists, too many black pill boomers, and too many entitled dickheads who think they should be a part of our IRL existences away from the computer. There is a massive degree of separation between the creator and the viewer. The creator, the fan, the creator, the hater, and those, of course, who are suffering from problems. Many battle struggles, mental health ones, especially on a daily basis. And of course, if you can get help, you should accept help. It is the only way to ensure you live the best version of your own life. It does not though entitle you to harm other people or harm their property, because then you lose the very freedom you should be allowed to continue and retain and exist with, or because you refused because of pride or because it went too far to get the help you need. In this, I do hope the man in question who damaged Boogie's property gets the help they need. I also hope they apologize to Boogie, because Boogie is due at least an apology. 